Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for January the 12th. Today, John Winthrop was born in either 1587 or 88, depending on who you ask. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm the same, seeing as how I've been 29 for the past 12 years, so I get it. He's famous for being the first governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony and for his famous City Upon a Hill speech, Beacon to Humanity, which I still remember from history class, and I think every student still remembers from history class. He led the first immigrants in 1630 to the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and he would serve as governor for 12 of the first 20 years of the colony's history. Now, he was born in Suffolk. He was the son of a family that was successful in the textile business, and his father became a director at Trinity College, Cambridge, which was still quite a new college at this time, having been founded by Henry VIII towards the end of his reign. By the 1620s, the Reformation in England seemed like it was headed backwards. Charles I was a Roman Catholic, and the Puritans in England began to feel persecuted. When Charles dissolved Parliament in 1629, intending to rule on his own, Winthrop was part of a group that felt that they needed to leave. In the late 1620s, some investors joined together to acquire a land grant for the territory roughly around the Charles and Merrimack Rivers, and was first styled the New England Company and then renamed the Massachusetts Bay Company, and it got a royal charter granting it permission to govern this territory. It's unknown exactly when John Winthrop became involved with the company. There were many connections between him and the individuals that were associated with it. But both he and his son Henry were also involved in efforts to settle Barbados in 1626. Winthrop financially supported that for a time. By April of 1630, Winthrop had put his affairs in order and he was off. He was headed west to Massachusetts. The four ships left the Isle of Wight on the 8th of April, 1630. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th and 17th century England at the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.